of Duty has come a long way since its World War II days. What was once a single-player focused, PC-only shooter is now one of the biggest franchises in entertainment history, and one of the most popular online games, well, ever. This year, Treyarch, the developers behind Call of Duty World at War, take the reins once again for Black Ops. Treyarch made some interesting decisions with this game, so let's now cut through the hype and see how it all turned out. Where are you from? Just be cool. I'm talking to you! As expected of a COD game, the presentation is phenomenal. The single-player campaign looks good, plays smoothly, and has great sound design, especially when it comes to the fantastic voice acting of Sam Worthington, Ed Harris, and Gary Oldman. However, the real surprise has to do with the story. Without giving away too much, you start the game as Alex Mason, a captured soldier who's being interrogated for information he can't remember. Throughout the interrogation, you play flashback sequences that span a number of different time periods and characters. Our very way of life is at risk. It's a very unique premise and, in my opinion, it's the best storyline of the series. However, not everything is as polished as it could be. Although pretty rare, I did encounter one game-ending bug and some graphical glitches. On the plus side, Black Ops' new theater mode is great. Much like in Halo, you can save multiplayer replays, mess with the camera angles, and share them with your friends. It has a very nice interface and is a solid addition to the game. There's a ton of content in Black Ops, so let's start with the single player. I already mentioned that the story is very innovative, but when it comes to gameplay, eh, not so much. This is the same Call of Duty that you know and love, and that's starting to become a bit of a problem. Both enemies and comrades are still pretty dumb. They don't really react to situations well and often just stand around when their friends are getting capped. However, the biggest problem is that this game feels like a Michael Bay movie on steroids, or season 6 of 24 if you know it. People are yelling and screaming at you continuously, things constantly explode, and it just becomes a little numbing after a while. I love crazy destruction as much as the next guy, but non-stop action can be a little tedious when it's constantly being slammed into your head. Of course, a lot of Call of Duty fans don't care about the single player at all. They go straight to the multiplayer. New mode where you can play multiplayer modes offline with computer controlled bots. It's nice that they added this even though I wish you could customize the tendencies for each individual bot. Last but certainly not least, there's zombie mode, a fun four player co-op mode that you can play online or split screen. It's pretty much what you'd expect. You defend a location from a horde of zombies. However, there are a few twists. In one mode, you try to defend the Pentagon as famous historical figures like JFK and Fidel Castro, and it's absolutely hilarious. Pain is temporary. Pride is forever. Call of Duty Black Ops is a massive game. However, for all the content it has, the game also feels a little too familiar for its own good. Black Ops' story is great, but the pacing is exhausting. The multiplayer does some awesome new things, but overall it's very similar to past games. Nonetheless, even if it doesn't push the series forward all that much, there is still a ton of fun to be had. Call of Duty fans should definitely take a look. For more on Black Ops, shoot on over to IGN.com.